Odonyo Opuru means mountain of steam. It is well known over the world because people are coming globally from America, Australia and other continents. They are coming into this sauna here. People with uh, some diseases like skin diseases, they are healing here. The, the steam which is coming from the ground have this hydrogen sulfide, which is essential for, for all these cures, and as this respiratory system as well. We prefer we men to be here for just only 15 minutes, because too much temperatures will, co will cause infertility to men. But for women... My name is Douglas Chegigishuru, born and brought up here in Buru Forest, Buru area, and I have been guiding here in Eburu Forest for about 10 years now. The name Eburu is not Eburu, it's Oldonyo Opulu in Maasai. But the, the settlers here could not be able to pronounce Eburu in, Eburu instead, they said Eburu. Oldonyo Opulu means mountain of steam. Eldonyopu means mountain of steam. That's the name from Maasai. Uh, people who are living around here were Maasai only. So all, all the names in the, in the forest are named after that community. Yeah. Uh, when you attack a mambo, you are a yama, you are a good job, no fundish. Kunama should come a primary school, how in Guinea come a second school, Pia on a Kuja for the same thing purpose. There are some indicators here which show us that uh, the steam is there. We have the grass, we call the geothermal grass, that indicate even around the area here you can see it. So the steam, the ground is hot. Geothermal grass, we call it, we call it Fibristylis exiris, scientific. <laughs> we have the ficus as well, which normally shows where the, 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 the fault line is. So when we are drilling these wells, we normally check all these indicators. And then we get the steam, one for tourism attraction. Here we have a feature we call the Fubaro, one of the geothermal manifestation. And that's where we have the sauna here, where the steam is coming out through the vent from the magma with a heat of about 70 degrees centigrade. Uh, we have many uses of this steam here in our forest. One is for therapy. People are coming here to heal, some with disease that caused by the skin, we have the skin diseases, we have respiratory diseases. Those people are coming here to heal. Every weekend we are receiving dozens of visitors here. Uh, the gas here, the, the fumar here is composed of different gases. We have hydrogen sulfide, which now used now to cure the diseases. We have carbon dioxide as well. We have nitrogen, which is coming out of this. The smell of this gas is like rotten eggs. Now that's indicate that we have the sulfur. We have the silica rock as well, which are molten in the area. And uh, the kaolin, which is reddish, the, the soil which can be seen around here is reddish. The mineral we call it kaolin. Now for us to use this uh, therapy here, because some people are using a lot of money in hospitals and as well they are not curing. So we are using natural therapy to cure such diseases. And uh, it's well known over the world because people are coming globally from America, Australia, and other continents. They are coming into this sauna here. And every weekend, 
people are coming here, some with, with children, women and, and female. Well, for the male, we for, the, for the adults, we charge only just 500 shillings. And uh, for the children, we, we charge only 250 shillings for one hour refreshment. And as well, the steam, we, we have many uses of steam in the, in the forest here. One is for tourism attraction. We normally use water for wildlife. We are getting water for wildlife because we have no rivers in the forest. We are tapping this steam to get water for our animals inside the forest here. Uh, and as well, when we are in the forest, we have the fruits here. And the, we have the food that we are cooking using the steam as well. Uh, when we have this stream here, people are coming to camp around here. Because every at morning hours, they refresh here, then they go for the hike. We have reasons why we have men and female coming into this stream differently. Because if you, you see the organs, the production organs of men are outside due to the, to the temperature, body temperature. So that's why they hang outside. But for me, for female, it's internal. So we prefer we men to be here for just only 15 minutes. Because too much temperatures will, call, will cause infertility to men. But for women, it's very, very okay for them. Kwa hile miaka nimefanya kazi hapa, nimefanya kazi zaidi ya miaka kumi. Katika mabara yote ya dunia, yote ya shafika hapa. Na pata wageni kutoka Amerika, Australia, Asia, kila pahali, Afrika pia tuko nao wengi sana. Kuna toka Kongo, wanatoka Ethiopia, Sudan, kila pahali waja hapa. Kitu, diyo tuna konsabu msitu vizu, manje ambayo naenda kwa Rex, ama kwa maziwa ya nye tuko karibu nao. Manje ya kipita pale chini, ya napata rile jiwe, ambayo tunaita magma. Ya kipata na rile jiwe, ndiyo manje ya na chemuka. Nona. Sasa manje ya kiwa hayatoshi, mvuko kuchini. Lakini majira kama yanatosha pia tunapata mvuka kutosha na tunapata hii steam inatoka nje vizuri